Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the Grinch collection from China Glaze. I'm really excited about this collection actually. Um, you know, childhood memories and all that kind of stuff of the Grinch and I'm really excited to take the kids to see the new Grinch movie that's coming out this year. I even have my new shirt on, resting Grinch face. I thought it was hilarious so I had to uh, to pick it up when I saw it in the store. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna talk about that collection today. Uh, I apologize, I don't have anything on my nails right now. I have been swatching these polishes for you today because tomorrow I leave for England for a week and when you're watching this, I will actually be in England. So I wanted to get this done and um, edited and uploaded for you so you guys had something for while I was away. So let's look at the China Glaze Grinch collection. So there are two full coverage glitters in this collection. The first one is this beautiful gold and this is called Mary Whatever. This is fully opaque in two coats. This is beautiful and blingy for the holiday season. Just look at those holographic glitters just glittering through, so pretty. And this was two coats to be fully opaque. So this is Mary Whatever. The other full coverage glitter, it took three coats for me to get fully opaque. This is called Deliciously Wicked. And this is like a beautiful icy snowy day. Um, just look at those holographic glitters. So, so pretty and very, very blingy as well. This one, like I said, was three coats to be fully opaque on the nails. So this is Deliciously Wicked. This was more of a curly formula, but I guess you could say it's a full coverage glitter too. This is a beautiful green, and I think it's my favorite from the collection. And this is called Grinchworthy, and this is this beautiful green. So pretty. Uh, it's the color of the Grinch. I absolutely love this polish. It's beautiful for, for Christmas. So this was two coats to be fully opaque, and this is Grinch worthy. I think what this one may be one of my favorites too out of the collection. This is a very, very deep burgundy wine color, and this is called You're a Mean One. This has a beautiful formula on it, two coats to be fully opaque on the nails. And just look at that, it's like a nice shimmery burgundy color. So pretty. So that is You're a Mean One. This polish, I don't know if this is supposed to be wearable by itself because I tried to wear it on its own and in three coats I could still see my nail line and I wasn't happy with the way it looked. To actually, I really don't like this polish. So what I decided to do for swatching was I put it over top of your mean one and it gave it a really, really nice frosty effect. Um, but I don't like this polish by itself. I don't like the formula of this polish. I found it very, very runny and it pooled really, really easily. So I am not a fan of this polish. This is called Lukewarm Wishes. This is a pearly white, but it's got a blue flash in here. Not my favorite type of polish whatsoever. So if you're gonna pass on any of these polishes, I would pass on this one. Not a fan of this polish whatsoever. So this is lukewarm wishes. Next up I have this beautiful pink. This is called Who Wonder and this is like a fuchsia pink shimmer. Very pretty. I actually wore this last week. Beautiful polish. Love this. Again two coats to be fully opaque. So this is Who Wonder. This is beautiful Santa suit red polish in here. This is called Ho Ho No and this red has got some gold glitter in here too. Very, very pretty. I did find this dried kind of dull though, so I put a top coat over it just to make it a little bit more glossy. Very pretty. And just look at that gold glitter. So pretty. So this is Ho Ho No. And there's this beautiful Christmas glitter topper in this collection too. This is called Resting Grinch Face. Hey, it's like my shirt. I didn't even know. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so this um, is just a topper. There's no way you could get this fully opaque by itself. Um, I put this over Ho Ho No. And it's just a beautiful glitter topper. A whole bunch of different glitters in here. Different color glitters. A ton of things going on here. I'm not one usually for toppers. This is a nice Christmas topper. I'll give it that. So that is Resting Grinch Face. 
This collection is available to purchase now. I picked mine up from um, Sparkle Canada. I think it was 55 for the full collection and uh, shipping was free over 50 bucks. So shipping was free, I was happy with that. Um, I'm really happy with this collection. I like it overall as a, as a Christmas collection, holiday collection. That one pearly white polish did nothing for me and I could do without that in the collection but the rest of the polishes fit well together and I really, really like the collection, that part of the collection together. Don't like that one polish, I really don't like it. I also love the fact that the bottle caps have the Grinch on them. I just love when they do collaborations with um, with shows or with movies or, with, or things like that and they include something like this on the cap. I think it's a great way to brand them together. It's super cute. And yeah, I just love this, these bottle, these bottle caps. So I think my picks from this collection are these three. I love the green, which is Grinch worthy. I love this pinky fuchsia, which is Who Wonder, and this dark wine color, which is your mean one. So these are the three that I re really recommend. Although, like I said, I do love the collection, bar that pearly white. I don't know what the heck that polish is. Anyway, <laughs> I do like the collection. So that is it for me today. Uh, like I said, I am currently in the UK and I return on Tuesday afternoon, I think. So I'm hoping to be able to film something next weekend to have up for Sunday. Fingers crossed I'm not too jet lagged. I would have filmed it today. It's just I've been so busy with packing and get everything ready for leaving tomorrow. So yeah, I'm jumping on a red eye flight tomorrow. Um, my grandfather is unfortunately very, very sick. And um, I just decided I had to, to be there. You know, I, there's nothing that I can really do, but I, had, I had just have to be there. So it's been eight years since I've been home. And um, yeah, I have to, just have to, I have to see him one last time. It's not a very happy reason to visit, but I figured if I didn't go, I would regret it. So I'm going. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to visiting the rest of my family while I'm there, having some fish and chips, uh, hopefully catching up with some friends. It would be really, really great if I could meet uh, up with Claire while I'm there. We're hoping to possibly be able to meet up. Uh, fingers crossed everything works out. If we do meet up though, we would, unfortunately won't have time to film anything together because I'm there for such a short period of time. I don't know if there'll be time for me doing shopping while I'm there, um, but the exchange rate is freaking ridiculous. I thought the US Canadian exchange rate was bad. The US uh, British pound exchange rate is even worse. Like ridiculously worse. <laughs> so I won't be doing a lot of shopping if I have a chance to anyway, because the exchange rate is ridiculous. So anyway, that is it from me. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.